Hello and welcome. My name is Bubba Fabes and welcome to my channel. Today we have another map tips and tricks video here on the plane. Now there's not a heck of a lot of vertical destruction compared to some of the other maps, but I will show you what I can nonetheless because there's still a lot of helpful places that you can see. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go over spots on the attack and the first location that we can do with vertical destruction is going to be attacking this executive bedroom right here. And the first spots that we're going to talk about is the first one being kind of here behind the beds, popular spot for people to sit and this corner spot right there. Next up is going to be a little bit view into the side closet being a popular place for people to sit and this shot right here from above now is a popular spot for people to sit but possibility nonetheless it's an easy spot so I'll show it to you anyways. So coming around this corner the first spot into that closet is going to be just right here just quick and easy shot off right there. Now getting right into the executive bedroom opening up this corner here. As you can see, to give you a bit of a reference, this is going to be to the right behind that couch. People aren't typically going to sit right there. The main spot for them to sit is going to be down in this left corner right here behind those tables. And again, just opening up in between. This will give you that view into that couch area. Open up this entire backside, leaving anyone exposed. There's not much else that you can hide behind there. But again, we're talking about that little room. We can't destruct above it, but what we can do is... Just by breaking it over a little bit further. You can get a peek into that doorway. Get a little bit of view in there. If he's not paying attention, you might be able to get a good shot off on him. But that's the best we can do for that door there. And that's really going to cover this executive bedroom. Again, a lot of these spots I'm playing, there's not a whole lot to go over on attack. Now, moving on further into the plane, we're going to hit here in the staff section. There's not a whole lot we can do in the staff section. But what we can do is again going to cover a couple popular spots, one of them being behind this table. Usually trying to defend people coming through this door. Again, same idea. Someone sitting around here. And then the last spot, again very common, is this spot right here. And these are all spots that we can get from above. Coming back to our, our wall here, this is a good wall for reference because this wall goes right over top the wall in the back of executive. So when attacking the executive, use this wall. It'll be the back of it, but when you go to staff section, again, we can use that as reference. All we have to do is go a little bit past it. Break open above. And there you go. You can see that first corner right there. You can get a nice and easy shot off at anyone hiding behind that table. Now, the table in the middle of the room is going to be right about here. That'll take care of anyone that's going to be hiding behind that main table. We can't go very far over, so we can't see right by that door. Can't see too well over there. But then that last spot that I'm going to show you is going to be using this wall as a reference and then going to that second server. And we're going to be breaking open right at this edge as far over as we can get. And as you can see down below, that's where they're going to be hiding right there. That'll give you a nice easy shot off onto them. So now down below, this is the room that we're going to be going over next. A very popular spot, especially on ranked. This is a popular spot for people to pick. And again, with the limited destruction, the places that we can go are very popular spots. One of them, people very commonly hide over here, as well as a lawn in this corner right here. And we can get a view on anyone hiding at this spot right there. So reaching the executive bedroom, we're going to find our first spot. It's going to be this mark right here. We're going to be looking for this corner. Open up as far into it as we can. And you can kind of see that we're going to be able to get those shots off down below into that corner. And then all we have to do is just move our location by this couch being parallel with our first kill hole. Now the problem with this kill hole is for some reason this spot here a lot of the destruction won't completely fall through and it'll be your view will be very compromised but if you wait a second some of it will come through and it'll give you a little bit better visibility into that corner right there allowing you to see anyone hide behind here now again if we just back up a little bit we can kind of blow open this whole area and using it to our advantage so in doing that by getting an angle onto it you can kind of see further into the room to your advantage coming down here again that spots hard because of the visibility problem but if we come down here 
that's where our hostage is there so anyone in that area we will be able to get a shot off onto them and that really does take apart a lot of possibilities of hiding in this area that the next spot that i'm going to show you is going to be this cargo area again very limited we only really have a little small square to work with right there as well as a spot that i'm going to show you to shut down this hallway if you're attacking here if you're able to shut down people coming through this hallway as well as have someone up here to shut down and come down these stairs you can basically trap anyone on the inside and once you take care of them it's yours to command so the first spot i'm going to show you is the spot that i'm going to break open right here now as we can see down below that's that little kind of cubby area and that's a very common spot for her. you see a lot of valkyries kind of hide there to give her like cover to go onto her camera but it just opens right up to it and then if we back up we can get a view onto that back wall a little bit but we have to be very careful because because we can see them they can see us so just by going down here by opening that spot as you can see anyone standing here can see this entire room too so they can shoot back and they have a little bit more cover than we do so be cautious about that now the next spot again we're going to talk about that hallway there to be able to shut that down we're going to make our way upstairs through the staff section into the executive bedroom again. This is, very, this is the main place that we have for destruction and this hallway is going to run all along this floorboard right here. So coming into about the middle of it by opening this, oh out of breach. We can see that's that doorway right there that'll stop people from being able to come through there. Be able to run into that cargo, shutting that down, stopping people from peeking through that doorway onto that cargo section making the best of what we can so that's basically it as an attacker so now as a defender the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to run through a bunch of velt camp spots as quickly as possible kind of go from the beginning of the plane work my way back try to get through as much as i can the first one i'm going to show you is one possibility is you can throw one out here the best spot i would pick would be right there the only problem with this one is that if the defenders turn around it's black on white it sticks out like a sore thumb the benefit is though that you get to see them on here as well as you can see and all these other entrances along there so if you can get away with that camera it gives you a fantastic view of this entire side of the plane if you want to play a little bit safer you can go ahead and throw one up on there this will give you the view of them as they try to end enter edge their way up as well as if they do make their way past you can see a little bit into the actual plane right there so that'd be my first suggestion this is kind of talking about defending this close part of the map the next one i'm going to talk about is a lot of people they'll throw a camera up here but it gets spotted very easily so to get by that or beside the emergency light box right there and what that enables you to do is it gets it completely hidden but the trick with these cameras is it can still see the it works the camera works at the very tip of the dome so i can still see completely down this hallway even though it looks like it's completely blocked but really there's just enough pixels by that it just somehow works to see down the hallway but it's completely hidden so that's a fantastic way to do that you can see a huge stretch of area over that and then the last one again just kind of covering this kind of kitchen area there's a lot of little nooks and crannies you can really throw the camera anywhere all on these back walls and any of these like little cubby things but what I do is I throw my camera kind of onto this coffee maker and the reason I do that is because it's black on black so as you're coming in here even if I'm paying attention you can't really see it too well you're working very hard to see it and you have to kind of throw it into this corner you have to kind of come around to look at it though again remember when you're on the cameras that light will shine brighter but as you're pushing up you're not really going to see a camera right there and it's going to give you a fantastic view protecting you from this kitchen giving you that view sight right there now working our way back let's say we're trying to defend the executive bedroom now a camera that we could do again these are just kind of not exact use spots because as you can see there's a whole bunch of possibilities that we can do so one idea is throwing our camera up into the ceiling right there and this will kind of give us a view all along this hall hallway while protecting our camera from sight with all these pipes and stuff making it a little bit harder to see but just watching as they uh, try to blow open from above we'll be able to watch them do that again we can still use that light camera to see all the way down this hallway if we wanted to but another possibility we have is again if we want to protect this area here putting cameras underneath these tables can be a great idea 
This one in particular because this one will give us a great sight. Again, down that hallway if they continue to make that push as well as if they're trying to thermite into that area. And if we come around, very difficult camera to see. You almost have to be looking for it if you want to get that. Now the very last camera that I'm going to kind of show you on this one is going to be throwing a camera down into the back right here. This will give you a good view at the back of the plane, being able to see all the way down that hallway. If all if anyone's trying to push from the back, it gives us a great line of sight. It can see all the way back to anyone pushing along here, and it's just a handy camera to have. So now just a couple of cam spots to talk about holding the basement. Now one of my favorite ones is going to be a camera to protect from this view here because again a great place for attackers to push through and it's always nice to see where they're coming from and to just know who's attacking where the great camera placement is going to be just being able to throw a camera into this little nook right here it might take you a couple throws that's exactly where we want to get it one attackers come and push through here they're not going to be really turning behind them they want to keep their eye over here and players coming through here that nook is again gonna hide it just leaving that little tip out enough that we can still see quite clearly anyone coming around this hallway to give us a great view of that now saving the best for last probably the most useful camera especially if you want to be getting outside peaks and whatnot is to throw one through this hatch over here landing it on this tail just like that giving you a view of the entire surroundings of the plane and all the entrances so at all times when they're outside of the plane you will know where they are and where they're attacking from giving you the advantage. Now before I end off after those camera placements a couple extra spots that you can use on defense a couple kill holes and whatnot is one of them being here at the front of the plane let's say we're holding down stairs and again these doors being a very popular spot to come through send a couple holes right underneath this light will open up right here and it'll give you a great access and great sight line on anyone coming through this door here they're gonna be focused on down the hallway and then on those stairs and before you know it they're just gonna walk into your sight line you're gonna get a fantastic kill on them there now the last scene's gonna be back here and the very back of the plane first thing I'm going to talk about is some people know about and some people don't but this little spot right here you're sitting in here kind of leaning over to the right you're perfectly hidden from any of these doors most people will just walk right by you as well as sitting right here so be careful for that but to one up on that another little sneaky spot that you can do and you always have to be careful about defenders being up here and that's why I don't show too many kill spots from up here is because um, it's very easy for attackers to come up here and they usually do because as an attacker you want to clear out this top section But If you're careful what you can do is we can just shoot open over here This is going to be right above the stairs giving us that view if they can walk right in front of us We get a kill or even just moving over to the side As you shoot this open you can see this leads in the hall right above that door so going back downstairs as we can see This can get unexpected people as they come around this corner Nice easy headshot. I just made huge holes because just for an example, they're going to be kind of aiming down here. They're not even going to see the hole above there and they're going to get domed. Now the last, very last spot that I'm going to show you is going to be again defending downstairs. You want to watch out for these little thermite hatches and probably the most popular one to open up is they usually send in a thermite to take care of this one. So we're going to make a hole up and above here that's going to see this hole down there. Again, this is going to be a reference wall so we know that wall is down there we're going to sit up right here put a hole right about here and we can just kind of sit down and that's that hatch that is right there it gives us a nice view on it well guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did let me know by leaving a like as well as if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe i've got a lot of great content coming out and a lot more of these videos that i wouldn't want you to miss out on for those people who are interested in more specific maps let me know which ones you want to see and i'll try to get to those first and for those who are wondering i am back up streaming on twitch again back from the holidays so today being tuesday i am back on my schedule at 7 eastern time i would love to see you there all the links are down in the description, but head over to Twitch forward slash Bubba Fabes and you guys can follow me there and let me know when I am streaming as well as stay in tune with my Twitter. It'll keep you guys up to date and until next time, my friends, I will see you later.